This is an ABC News special report. Hurricane Harvey, state of emergency. Good afternoon, I'm Dan Harris at ABC News headquarters in New York. We're interrupting regularly scheduled program to uh, bring you the breaking news. The disaster in Texas in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, now Tropical Storm Harvey, is deepening at this hour. The National Weather Service releasing an incredible tweet saying this event is unprecedented and beyond anything experienced. Houston, which is America's fourth largest city, is in crisis. Heavy rain falling overnight and now flooding large parts of the greater metropolitan area. More than a thousand rescues already taking place. The 911 system there overwhelmed. Teams from around the country are rushing in to help. At least three people thus far have died. Let's start here with ABC's Victor Okendo, who's right there in Houston. Victor, what are you seeing? What are they telling you? Well, Dan, right now we're getting hit by one of those bands, and that has been the case all day long, just really coming down on us. Houston underwater at this moment. We watched the situation go from bad to worse starting early this morning. Uh, just to give you an example, we were walking through a parking lot at one point, and within an hour, walk, being able to walk through clearly, in an hour, it was up to our knees, and that was just in that parking lot. Roads in the surrounding areas turned into rivers. Water basically waist high. The situation has been very bad here. We just heard from the Coast Guard minutes ago saying that they've already rescued 100 people from the air, but they've had some 500 distress calls come in. That's the situation right here in Houston where it has just been unprecedented amount of rainfall in a very short period of time. Victor, given the, the fact that you've got these bands of heavy rain moving through, uh, what is that doing uh, to the ability of the rescue workers to do their jobs and to, to save people? Got to imagine that's only making their jobs even more difficult in an already dire situation here. Thousands of rescues taking place as we speak right now. The roads are just an absolute nightmare. Everyone here has been warned to stay inside, stay off the roads. And what people have been told, and the Coast Guard reiterated this moments ago, do not try to hide in your attic if your house is uh, completely compromised. You need to do your best to either mark the roof or get out and stay on top of the roof so that crews from the air can be able to see you and get to you from there. But as you just mentioned, with one of these heavy bands just raining down on us right now, that's got to make crews jobs even more difficult. And what makes this even more complicated and dangerous is the fact that uh, there are tornado watches and warnings that have been popping up throughout this area. So going to the attic, while dangerous from a flooding perspective, could also be dangerous because that's the first part of the house to be destroyed when a tornado moves through. Victor, very quickly before we let you go, uh, the mayor there has faced some pretty tough questions about the fact that he told people not to evacuate after the governor had recommended they do. What is the mayor saying about that right now? Well, the mayor is basically defending his decision to tell people not to evacuate. And just to give you the backstory on at least part of the reason why he said people should not evacuate, he cited 2005 and Hurricane Rita and the nightmarish, deadly gridlock that caused when so many people tried to flee the city at the exact same time. That led to accidents, medical emergencies, and 100 people ended up dying while evacuating. More people died while evacuating than from the hurricane itself. So he was trying to avoid that. We knew that this was going to be a flooding event all along. That's what the city had prepared for. However, this amount of rainfall, I'm not sure if anybody could have seen something this strong coming. They're looking at upwards of 40 inches, perhaps, in some spots over these coming days. Um, let's move it out now to ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano, who's been covering Harvey since it uh, made landfall on Friday night. Uh, Rob is in Rosenberg, Texas, near a giant sinkhole. Rob, let me just start before you tell us about the sinkhole. Let me just start by asking you about the forecast at this point. What makes this storm so dangerous when compared to other hurricanes is that it's stuck in place and that doesn't appear to be uh, leaving the neighborhood anytime soon. So what is the forecast for the already waterlogged Houston at this point? multi days of, of more rain to, to give you the easy answer of we're stuck in between steering currents the diff we're always comparing this storm to, to tropical storm Allison back in 2001 which set all the records here in Houston and was absolutely devastating uh, which uh, it just kind of meandered around like this storm is doing the difference is this storm was a category four when it came on shore so it is that much stronger it has that much more expanse to it and that much more flow and rainfall to it so we've already received two feet plus of rain 
in the Houston area. We expect to see at least another foot, maybe two more feet before it's all done on Wednesday. So we're going to have things like what's behind me, Dan, a sinkhole happen a lot more often. This is Rosenberg. It's about 40 miles southwest of Houston. We just came upon this when we were uh, riding up here uh, with the help of our ABC station in Houston, ABC 13 KTRK. They're letting us uh, borrow their equipment to show you this. We don't want to get too close because we, we're, we're hearing and you can hear, again, uh, a sloughing off of, of the dirt and the pavement. This is a growing sinkhole, what is usually just a small creek that comes under, under, underneath this road. It's got a, a pipe, a culvert that's uh, about four feet wide uh, that has broken loose, and this piece of infrastructure now is, is done. So of greater concern beyond this, we'll see more of this in the coming days, is that Houston, this area of Houston is between two large rivers and as they rise here and we get more rain in the next couple of days, it's got the, the creeks will then kind of succumb to the larger rivers which will then swell and they, they may, be, may even combine down in this area and so it may be completely underwater. One of the issues with Houston, look at this, huge, huge strip malls, a lot of concrete, the definition of urban sprawl, That's, this water has no place to go. Uh, one of many reasons that Houston floods so easily and then they put two, three, four feet on of rain on top of that, it's just a, it's a nightmare and that's what we're enduring right now. And so just Dan. to put a fine point on this, Rob, uh, you don't think that the city and the surrounding area is going to get a break from this rain anytime soon. We're looking at maybe at end of the day Wednesday. That's right. Hopefully the beginning of the day Wednesday. There are there is a chance that we start to see some of the these bands kind of shift. We'll see intermittent breaks. This is I would consider this to be a break right here. Uh, but but generally speaking, it's going to be on and off periods of heavy rain where the circulation of Harvey goes. We're, we're not quite sure about that, but is where these bands set up. And for the past 12 to 18 hours, they've been set up directly over Houston and they've been very, very wide. So we need them to shrink and we need them to shift. And only Mother Nature can tell us that in the next 36 to 48 hours. Senior yeah. meteorologist Rob Marciano reporting from Rosenberg, Texas. Rob, thank you. Let's quickly get it over to ABC's Eva Pilgrim, who's on the road in a moving car about 40 miles outside of Houston. Eva, what are you seeing? Um, Dan, well, we're seeing a lot of water. I'm trying to give you a perspective of the water we're seeing. It's not on the road where we're driving right now, but you can see the water is pushing right up to the edge of the road in a lot of areas. It's dried out here again, and I'll show you the road just so you can see it. But all along the journey that we've made, even starting yesterday from San Antonio going down to Victoria and now heading east towards Houston, we have seen water crossing parts of the road one lane down you can cross on the other side of the lane so we're we're being very careful we're not crossing through any water we've been very careful about that but we are seeing a lot of water right up to the edge of roads and right up to the edge of a lot of homes we've seen people who are still in a lot of those homes so of course everyone here just waiting and watching Eva, thank you. Uh, let's come back into the studio now. Meteorologist Kate Parker with me in front of the weather wall here. I just want to go over this tweet, which is extraordinary from the National Weather Service. This event is unprecedented and all impacts are unknown and beyond anything experienced. Jibe with what you're seeing? Well, the forecast, unfortunately, is playing out exactly as we thought it would. So we're seeing this massive influx of water that's not stopping. It's more than we saw in Tropical Storm Allison, which is really the benchmark, the storm of record, where we're seeing those levels in the rivers and the bios, they're, they're overtopping that. So we don't know what to expect because we've never seen flooding on this level. The National Weather Service saying this is days still to go with these rain bands that are moving in off the Gulf right over the same area. It's just going to keep dumping rain in Houston. Your only chance for a break is between rain bands. That's it. This is a dire event. When I spoke this morning to the police chief in Houston, he said it's a 500-year flood for them. Kate Parker, thank you very much. I want to thank you for joining us for this special report. ABC News will, of course, stay on top of this unfolding crisis throughout the day with all the latest developments coming up later on World News Tonight and, of course, at any time on ABCNews.com. For now, I'm Dan Harris in New York. This has been a special report from ABC News.